Good evening, and thank you for joining in our discussion regarding the latest and greatest instructional techniques for adult learning. I'm Megan Long, and I will be controlling the Prezi through my computer. My teammates will be assisting me in our discussion this evening. Along with myself, we have Bailey Adams, Marianne Wilkins, Laura Ruth Hunter, and Noelle Cheeks, who is assisted in the research, making, and presenting of this presentation. With increasing numbers of adults furthering their education by attending colleges and universities around the world, understanding the latest and greatest instructional techniques for use with adults is very important. Understanding instructional theories in regards to educating adults is equally as important as understanding the characteristics and factors that are involved in adult learning. In order to effectively educate adult learners, one must first understand that there are many differences between the adult learner versus a younger student. The educator must also take into consideration the factors that are involved in the learning process for adults. Educating adults is very different than educating a younger student. Educators must understand that younger students tend to depend on the teacher for instruction and direction, whereas an adult learner tends to be self-motivated. An adult learner usually reads chapters, completes assignments, and prepares for exams at a time that is convenient for them instead of following a given schedule provided by the instructor. This makes the adult learner very task-oriented and needing minimal structure. The experiences that adult learners incorporate into the material being learned is very different than a younger student's experience. Adults have life and work experiences that may include life-altering events that affect one's cognitive abilities. An adult may also develop different thinking patterns dependent upon one's experience. These experiences could be positive or negative, but regardless of the experience, an adult learner will challenge new information in a way that a younger student may not. Because of the experiences that adult learners have, the adults tend to immediately apply new information to their own lives, making the information relevant to the individual. It is understood that people have different strategies for learning, but researchers have proven four main factors that affect the learning of an adult student. As previously stated, adult learners use previous life experiences to ensure that information that is being taught is made relevant to the individual's own life. This will give the adult learner a desire to further their knowledge about the topic. In order to create an environment that ensures the student feels safe and comfortable, the faculty members must consistently provide feedback to the students, especially if the students are adults. When adult learners feel the need or desire to want to learn about a topic, the information will be more comprehensible to the learners. This means that the adult learners are typically more intrinsically motivated, which is why an educator must attempt to create relevance to the workplace within the lessons. Most educators, and people in general, understand the importance of providing a positive attitude and environment to younger students, but we must also remember that adults need the same positivity. Although the number of theories related to education are countless, there are four theories that seem to be best related to adult education. Adult education was furthered by the research of Malcolm Knowles in the 20th century. Knowles believed that adult learning was an art and a science, relating the Greek term andragogy to this concept. Knowles used the characteristics of an adult learner to determine the main ways that an adult learner effectively understands material. This theory develops the aforementioned factors to adult learning. The theory of transformative learning contains three aspects. The learner must understand that changes must occur within the individual, within a particular belief system, and within an individual's lifestyle. In summary, the learner must become a constructivist when learning new material. Another theory regarding learning is the subsumption theory. Simply stated, this theory involves absorbing the information learned into one's cognitive structure, organizing the information in regards to hierarchy. 
The final theory that will be discussed in regards to adult learning is named double looped learning. This theory of learning relates to solving complex problems and changing the values and assumptions of the topic. Educators use these theories and others to determine teaching strategies that will best suit a class containing adult learners. While there are countless methods of teaching students, whether the student is an adult learner or not, the following four methods tend to be used more frequently than other teaching techniques for adult learners. Because adults tend to respond more positively when information is relevant and problem-based, educators will oftentimes use action learning as a method of teaching adult learners. Solving real-world problems and contemplating the results of the issue involves taking action, which is something adults tend to thrive at. Explaining why action learning is a popular teaching strategy when engaging and educating adult learners. Similarly, experiential learning involves hands-on lessons. As aforementioned, adults relate real-life experiences to the education process, making experiential learning very successful when teaching adults. A theory that may involve both action learning and experiential learning for an extended amount of time is project-based learning. Allowing students to research a topic independently is a teaching strategy that is particularly successful for adult learners. Because adult learners tend to be intrinsically motivated, self-directed learning is a teaching method where the individual student is responsible for their own education. Because these four teaching strategies involve understanding the characteristics of an adult learner, Researchers have recommended these strategies when attempting to effectively educate adults. Please take a few moments to look over this image and reflect on which of these ideas you can relate to. This image explains the transfer of knowledge that happens during action learning compared to visual or verbal learning. Take a few moments to see the importance of action learning. This graphic explains the experiential learning cycle, which supports adults' need to continue to be lifelong learners. Adults relate real-life experiences to the education process and make connections to their prior knowledge during experimentation. Take a moment to review this graphic and reflect on the similarities and differences between doing a project and project-based learning. As you can see, project-based learning is more student-centered and allows adults to have more control over their own learning. The teacher acts as a facilitator during project-based learning to guide students without taking the reins. With that being said, allowing students to research a topic independently is a teaching strategy that is particularly successful for adult learners. During our research of the latest and greatest instructional techniques for adult learners, we discovered a 40-minute video containing five teachers that have been awarded the National Teacher of the Year Award. The video discusses how teachers evaluate and adapt their teaching styles based on their success and students' performances. Adult learning is a team sport. Without collaborative efforts and learning from other teachers and their pupils, these instructors would not have experienced the success they have inside the classroom. We highly recommend watching the full video, which is located on the teaching channel. 
You can access the video by typing National Teachers of the Year colon the round table in Google. For a short preview of the video, please watch the following YouTube clip. Welcome. Um, today, this is a really um, special morning because we have five national teachers. Of the year, all here. How is it that an early career teacher learns how to ask for help? help or learns how to be vulnerable? Well, you can't be afraid to ask. For help. Because you know, yeah, you are not right. the, no all person that sometimes right. I think we think we're right. supposed to be when we walk in the class. Yeah. Year. Yes. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about how you grow professionally. How do you you get better? A lot of reflection. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think every day, um, whatever I'm doing, and it, whether. It's It's uh, an activity or a lab. I'm always tweaking for the next year. And so I'll sit down at the end of every day and and I'll, or I'll ask kids for input. You know, did that question I wrote on that one make sense? Or you know, I really analyze what's going on here. Videotaping for me. Yeah. I, I started that when I got my national board certification because that's part of the process. But then I've just continued to do that. I do that with the teachers I mentor. I, I do that for myself because there's just stuff you see on video that you don't, you don't see, see. and I know when I when I was first starting out um, I just saw a lot of modeling that I was doing for for students sure. that was wrong mm -hmm. video It doesn't lie to you. Right. It it's, doesn't. It's a harsh, it doesn't it's a harsh it is a harsh teacher. Yeah. I think it, it all comes back to reflecting. Mm -hmm. And then learning yeah. and finding what it is that you need to become. Better at as a teacher, um, usually for me. when a student is not progressing as I want them to and then trying to figure out how I can fix that and so if it means going to watch another teacher or if it means taking a course or reading a text or, or doing any of those things. And you have to think about this is Your practice, you've got to always be improving mm -hmm. to the very last day. Everybody. Mm -hmm. 
Like, You've got to be improving like, in whatever opportunities your system offers for professional learning, something outside that. Like you said, when you have mm -hmm. an issue with a child, where can I go get right. help? What I hear is that you're all saying you cannot do this on your own. No, there's no way you can do this on your own. Okay. While many people have researched the latest and greatest instructional techniques for use with adults, it is up to us as educators to stay informed with new and innovative teaching styles. Leonardo da Vinci once stated that learning is the only thing that the mind never exhausts, never fears, and never regrets. We believe this to be true, and we must instill this value into the hearts and minds of our students. We thank you again for watching. Have a great evening.